Hey guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 7. Aw, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we do have our shaders, which is freaking awesome. Uh, so I'm using um, Silder's Enhanced Default. Um, and uh, we got some diamonds up in here. Oh, baby. Look at that. All right. So we also got <laughs> some hoppers up in here. Uh, so this is the one that's been selling uh, the best. So I feel like I need to try and keep this one. Oh, crap. Uh, dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Okay. Yeah, I need to try and keep this one stocked as much as possible. So we're going to go like that. Um... Hmm. I kind of want to put the rest of these in there. I mean, I guess we could add another barrel, maybe? Maybe put a barrel on... No, we can't put a barrel on top. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of what we could possibly do to get some more hoppers in there. I mean, we do have this. We could take that. Put that, and what did I pull out of here? Was it coal? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> All right, we'll take that, and then zert like that. Um, You know what, I think I'm just gonna go right here. So let's put a block under it. And then we'll put this here. Uh, we'll do that. Okay. So, I don't know if we should make another one of these or not, but, I mean, I don't know. At least that's, you know, it's a little bit of stock there that we can uh, pull for, or, you know, that people can, can buy. Hopefully somebody buys it out again. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll just make a hopper shop. Maybe that'll be the thing. Just nothing but hoppers. Uh, I want to block these. There we go. It's not bad. I I mean, part of me feels like I'm selling them too cheap. Uh, but part of me feels like the reason people are buying them is because they're a good price. Or maybe they're buying them because they're cheap, right? Also, I hear tell. Um, I've got a bit of a reward on my head or something. Uh, let's see. Am I in here somewhere? Zuma, 20 cod, B dubs, B dubs. Okay, I think I was removed. Which is fine, but no more of these. <laughs> oh, wrecked. Yeah, I don't think I've, I, I haven't turned in any heads, so. Oh, okay, Etho turned that one in. Nice. Noise. Oh, did he rename that? Okay. Uh, yeah, because he that's his points. That's not my points. Okay. So, wait. Today's double points is Hypno. Dang it. Okay. No. So, 20 cod. Jevin's head. Zuma. Three hermit heads. All right. I was on there, apparently, people were, say, were telling me that I was on there for 100 points. Um, I'm Like, Ethos the only one that's got my head through PvP. Um, the only other head, or the only other way people have got my head is um, through the trader. So, yeah. I feel like they need to get good. <laughs> I, I live pretty far out. Um, I don't foresee anyone honestly coming out that far. I think, like, I was... Me and Firecracker were talking about it, actually, this morning. And I was like, you know, if anybody was to do that, I feel like it would be false. False would make that trip to get a kill. Which, you know, she's more than welcome to try. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm, a, you know, a god at PvP or anything. But, you know, I put up a fight. <laughs> a little bit, anyway. I'm pretty fairly decent with a bow, so it's whatever. 
Um, I do want to remind you guys, if you are enjoying the series, go ahead and hit that like button. Show your support. It does help. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe because you're already freaking here. All right, guys. So the shaders are a little buggy right now, but that's just an Optifine thing. You know, it's a pre-release. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, I felt like it was about time to start adding a little bit of apocalyptification going on up in here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to see about building some tents. Yeah, I was messing around with some some designs, I guess. And I think the way we're going to do this is we're going to do... No, 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 no. We're going to do... <laughs> Dang it. All right. And then we're going to go like that, right? So that's going to be the back of the tent. And then we're going to mix in some of this. I'm kind of thinking we mix in a little bit of white and gray. Just to try and give it a little bit of that, you know, kind of dirty, been here for a minute kind of, kind of look. I don't know if it's going to come across, but hopefully. Should be alright, right? Um, oh, and these shears. I made some, some pretty baller shears. Mending, unbreaking efficiency. You know, we got the villagers. Why not? Might as well. Right? And so that's that. And then I'm thinking we're going to put a door on this side. Because, you know, you need to be able to get in and out. And then we'll go ahead and do that. Right? Now, what's funny is that spruce and that spruce... But that spruce looks darker than that spruce. <laughs> like, why is it doing that? It's so weird. I mean, is it the light? No. Okay. And then I'm thinking we're going to have another one. Uh, we want to come out a few blocks. I'm thinking we're going to put a thing like that. And then that's what, three blocks. So we'll go one, two, three. And then put a door so we know where that one is, right? So it's basically going to be the same thing. Uh, we'll just, you know, change, you know, mix up the, the colors a little different. Uh, and then we're going to go two, three. And then I think I went four. Yeah. One, two, three. So I think right there. Like that. Uh, eat. Thank you. Um, maybe, 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 maybe we could come out like that and then put, I mean, that's going to block. Oh, <laughs> that's like right in front of, okay. We're not doing that. Okay. Um, maybe. I'm trying to think of how, how to do this in a decent way. I mean, we could do something, you know, like we could throw some, some tent poles or something. Um, maybe not like that. But it, it just stands to reason that there's going to be people living off the land, as it were. You know, in tents and all that kind of stuff. And so we're going to need a place for them to kind of chill and, and be, right? So then we're going to do something like this. I wish you could get, like, log slabs, you know? Because I feel like that would look a little bit better. And then we could do something like... Like that's how they, they cook their stuff. Is there a better way to do that? Hmm. I don't think there is. I, I really don't. I mean, maybe we could go... You know, and I bet this sitting under there kind of... Oh, that does. It kind of looks like a pot. Oh, and actually, we could maybe, instead of having the fences up here... Yeah, the server's the server's pretty freaking laggy right now. Um, instead of having the fences, maybe we go like that. And then we could put... Maybe? I mean, that's not bad, right? Eh, I mean, it is. 
It is what it is. Alright guys, so this is what we're working with so far. We're trying to just build up a little bit of a tent city kind of thing. Uh, we've got the tents over there. I'm pretty sure... Well, did I show the finish? No, I don't think I did. Um, we got a couple tents here. Um, and then we've got the little cauldron thing cooking in the middle. Uh, we got a little bit of seating here. You know, just kind of apocalyptificating all the things. I figured a tent city... You know, I started working on those and I was like, you know, I bet there would be a tent city. You know, just like a place where people have just thrown up tents and, you know, because there's not enough house to go around for people. Um, and so they've definitely got a tent city. And I feel like this would be rather well-traveled. And so we're going to have a thing coming back this way. Um, so the reason I stopped doing uh, the time lapse is because it's just, it's way too laggy <laughs> on the server right now. And it was just looking kind of jank. Um, so we got a little bit of time lapse, but nothing, you know, nothing crazy. Um, I feel like that's a little too square there, but we got some, right? And then I think mostly around this is where most of the traffic would be. person would have walked through i mean it's okay to, you know, like i want to leave some of the grass but not a ton just so it you know kind of yeah it looks fairly well, i feel like that one would be gone right and then like the 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 puzzle is kind of because it puzzle looks gross let's be honest let's just be honest <laughs> puzzle looks kind of gross and so I feel like the puzzle is just kind of everything kind of decaying and kind of dying off and just turning all grody. And that's kind of the thought behind the puzzle. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but that's what I'm doing. So, I mean, it makes sense to me. Because puzzle, like I said, it's kind of gross. So it looks dirty and, and, and nasty and muddy and decaying and stuff, right? So we got this going on. I am going to cover, uh, so the tents over there, they're all covered in carpet. You know, the color, you know, matching the color and all that stuff. Just to prevent spawn so I don't need torches on top. Um, and then all of these, I wish you could, put, like, turn these out. Like, turn them off. And then that way we could have some that are, like, off and some that are not. You know, I wonder. We're going to need seating around this, right? Would it be a thing to, I mean, maybe the seating here is just a bit better than elsewhere. So what if we did this? If we did, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna break that. I mean, is that seating? Hmm. And then probably even if we put it here that would mess with this wouldn't it which i mean it shouldn't but yeah you can't till that oh that sucks <laughs> like it sucks so much okay um i'm just trying to think of how that would look i guess we could do some cobblestone so if we did that, that's kind of seating, right? And then maybe over here, we could do like one of those and then a couple of these. If we did, ah, no, dang it, that. Just because we want it to look a little kind of borked and, you know, off 
you know, just like it's been getting used a lot. Okay. I mean, that's looking all right so far. So I'm not going to put a seating area here because there's not as much space. But on these sides, I have zero issue. So if we just do a guy like that and then go boop, boop. Right? I feel like that works. I, I kind of want to put a... Just so it kind of, you know, it looks like it was a seat at one time. It's just falling apart. I like it. This is turning out really nice. I'm, I'm really digging this. The tents, the tents are a little jank, but that's okay. Um, I wasn't really trying to make, like, the Taj Mahal of tents. <laughs> like, that's not at all what I was trying to go for. Um, I was literally going for basic kind of janky tents. Like, that's what I wanted. And I feel like that's what I've achieved. Uh, some gray wool. And then we need a trap door. And no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go around putting, um, uh, beds in all the tents or any of that stuff. The tents are literally just there <laughs> as decoration. So, man, that's looking good. I'm digging that. Okay, you know what? Let's see if we can do a flyby. Oh, look at that. That looks freaking nice. I'm digging that. That looks, I mean, it looks like there is a natural flow to where, oh, you know what? Let's do that. Bam. Like a natural flow to where everybody's walking, you know? Because this is the most used area. And so we've got, and I did put some of these out just so it kind of looked like, you know, it was, yeah. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's freaking fine, you know? Whatever. I like it. Like, I, I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm going to put some water in there, though. Because, obviously, people are going to be having to, like, boil water. All right, let's go over here. All right. Ow. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, the lag. The lag is, the lag is pretty real. I don't know where it's coming from either. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, I, I logged my camera account off, like I said, because we were, we're, it's just, you know. Yeah. Anyway, look at this freaking place. I'm digging this place, man. Nice. And I think what I'm going to do, um, I was thinking about this. And so to make it a little more enticing... Um, for the other hermits to come out here and build a house because honestly as it is now it's like they you know they get the thought in their head do I come over here and build here or do I go elsewhere or you know do I work at my own base <laughs> which makes sense to me so I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna have maybe a little bit of a build contest. Now, it's gonna be impossible to get a fully non-biased freaking build contest because, let's be honest, if, if Joe Hills came over, built a house, didn't matter how good it is, I'm sorry, Joe, you know, but it, this is honest facts here. Um, if Joe Hills came over, built a house, and then Green came over and built a house, no matter which one was actually better, Obviously, I feel like Green would win that. So I'm not entirely sure how to go about doing that. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to have... A, I'm going to try to figure out some kind of build contest type thing. Um, and then I'm thinking we're going to do that as the prize. Ten blocks of diamond. Blocks of diamond. As, as the, you know, the prize. And obviously it's not required or anything like that. We'd, we'd have to set up a shop with rules and and how to go about doing it. You know, we'd have to have a, a specified time limit and all of that stuff. But other than that, I think, I think it's a pretty good idea. Um, I don't know if I should put some more tents here. I feel like too many tents, it's going to get a little over, overdone. Well, hmm. I feel like more tents here would actually not be a bad idea. All right. So I'm working on another thing here. Hopefully you guys can tell what they are without me saying what it is. Um, 
I, I've gone through several iterations of these. Um, just trying to figure out like what's the best way to do it. And I feel like I found a decent way to do it. So porta potties <laughs> uh, generally are blue. Obviously, they're you know they could be pretty much any color. It depends on the company. Um, all the ones I've seen pretty much were blue. And so I made them blue. Um, and, and I think they turned out okay. Um, I may put in glass panes here, though. Uh, let's see. Let's see if glass panes will actually work better. Um, I just I don't like that there's a lip on top of the glass because I'm now putting, you know, so it looks like it slopes up, which it, it does, uh, up toward the vent because you need a vent. Trust. <laughs> you ever been in a porta potty without a vent? Ouch. That hurts. Yeah, it's not good. So, what we got here is a thing. Um, I've been trying to figure out how, like, what's the best way to, because we need a door, but I don't want just any old door. Um, and plus, we're on a half slab, so we can't really do just any old door. Uh, so I think the best way to go about it is not the best way aesthetically, I guess. Uh, but that's to put this in here and then uh, slap one of these on there. And so it's kind of just like a semi-privacy kind of thing, right? Can you play? Can you place banners on string? <gasps> ah, no. <laughs> Ah, go away. <laughs> go away. Hello? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Suck wads. Okay. <laughs> um, I think... I, I think what we're going to... Holy crap, guys. I think what we're going to do is build a bit of a, a privacy kind of wall going here. Maybe some privacy wall going in between. Because, you know, we, people want privacy. And then, obviously, we're going to slam this place full of Podzel. Because, like I said earlier, Podzel kind of looks like Dookie. Um, and I'm not against, like, the way Podzel looks. Like, that's not what I'm trying to say. Still. Still not trying to say that. Um... It serves its purposes, right? It gives you that kind of gross grass kind of look, right? Yeah. And then, obviously, we just got hoppers for toilets. I was thinking about putting, like, maybe some iron trap doors above it to look like a toilet seat. But I don't know about all that. Oh, you know what we should do? Now that I'm thinking about it. Because I don't think mobs can spawn on a half or on a trap door right oh crap that's not enough uh <laughs> there we go okay i'm thinking we're gonna do that i mean it's not it's not ideal but it is what it is right yeah it's whatever all right let's get some of this going on up in oh corrales Uh, I think he was hunting gravel. Yep. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's the problem with building with a bunch of concrete. Is the... God, it's... It, the gravel and the grass and... Like, all of that. It's just... It can be a real pain to get. Alright, so basically... You get the basic idea of how this is going to look. I don't know how to zombificate the, or, you know, apoc apocalypticate these too much. They're already missing doors. Uh, you know, normally porta potties have doors. These have a towel, pretty much. So that's, oh, floaty tree. You know what? Let's take this floaty tree down. Sorry. 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 Goodbye, tree. Okay. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> but. I'm really digging how this place is turning out. As you can see, I did add three more tents here. I spaced them the same as those over there. I figured that works out because we're going to have a path coming this way back toward the porta potties. Um, I know three porta potties for this many people, plus all the people living out that way. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty, 
But it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. It is what it is. You do what you do. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. And I'll see y'all next time.